The 2019-2020 coronavirus pandemic is an ongoing disease also called COVID-19, caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. The outbreak was first noted in Wuhan, Hubei Province, China, in December 2019. The World Health Organization WHO, declared the outbreak to be a public health emergency of international concern on 30 January 2020 and recognized it as a pandemic on the 11th of March 2020. As of 7 April 2020, more than 1.34 million cases of COVID-19 have been reported in over 200 countries and territories, resulting in approximately 74,800 deaths. More than 277,000 people have recovered. The virus is mainly spread during close contact and by small droplets produced when those infected cough, sneeze or talk. These small droplets may also be produced during breathing, however, they rapidly fall to the ground or surfaces and are not generally spread through the air over large distances. People may also become infected by touching a contaminated surface and then their face. It is most contagious during the first three days after onset of symptoms, although spread may be possible before symptoms appear and in later stages of the disease. The time from exposure to onset of symptoms is typically around 5 days, but may range from 2 to 14 days. Common symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Complications may include pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome. There is no known vaccine or specific antiviral treatment. Primary treatment is symptomatic and supportive therapy. Recommended preventive measures include hand washing, covering one's mouth when coughing, maintaining distance from other people, and monitoring and self-isolation for people who suspect they are infected. Efforts to prevent the virus spread include travel restrictions, quarantines, curfews, workplace hazard controls, event postponements and cancellations, and facility closures. These include national or regional quarantines throughout the world, starting with the quarantine of Hubei, curfew measures in mainland China, various border closures or incoming passenger restrictions, screening at airports and train stations, and outgoing passenger travel bans. The pandemic has led to severe global socio-economic disruption, the postponement or cancellation of sporting, religious, and cultural events, and widespread fears of supply shortages resulting in panic buying. Schools and universities have closed either on a nationwide or local basis in more than 160 countries, affecting approximately 97% of the world's student population. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more learning content.